Hey there, I'm Melanie Scroggins from the Work From Home Voice Actor. And today I'm actually doing a little review for a new piece of tech I received from our friends at Focusrite, the Vocaster One, a digital interface made specifically for podcast solo creators like myself. So this review is for those of you also interested in podcasting and or new audio tech in general. So I'll show you how I use it for the Work From Home Voice Actor podcast. So my first impressions, this interface is lightweight, sleek, and dare I say sexy. It's matte black with red trim, and I like that it's curvaceous. It's not like the typical box interface, like the Behringer Euphoria UM22 that I've been using, and I especially like that it's angled forward. It feels more natural than dials typically placed on the front or top of most interfaces. This also makes it more ergonomic while recording. I'm plugged in already, and I noticed a few things that stand out to me. So firstly, the XLR input is labeled host instead of input or mic, which gives it a nice podcaster vibe. It makes me feel thought of. And the ring light around the gain control is also cool. This makes it stand out against the signal bars and against those interfaces that only have a clipping indicator light. Also, the dials have a nice resistance to them, which makes the device feel sturdy and well-made. Let's flip it over to the back. There are a few more things back here that I'm used to seeing. First, the push power button, which has some nice haptic feedback. Next is the USB-C for data transfer and power. It's nice to not have to think about an additional power source or power outlet when you're recording. On to the case slot. This is for if you wanna lock the device up. And I'm actually not sure if I've ever seen this on an interface before. Up next is the camera icon. This is actually a line output design to go directly into any camera with a 3.5 millimeter audio input. I'm actually recording my audio in both Adobe Audition and directly into the camera right now. The audio you're hearing is the direct camera audio we used for the video. This is particularly handy if I wanted to do a simplified live video stream with a nicer camera, as opposed to a webcam, for example. The phone icon. This is an input to run a phone call through the interface. I can also connect my phone to the interface via Bluetooth to record calls. This is a bit easier than what I've had to do in the past with setting up a voice over IP phone number like Google Voice in order to record phone conversations with my mic setup. Plug and play, baby. Now stereo output, a quarter inch stereo output to connect to speakers or monitors. And phantom power, a must have always. All right, back to the front. We have these three buttons under the gain and monitor dials. The first one on the left is auto gain. I can hold this button down for 10 seconds while speaking to auto adjust the gain, which is what I did when I first started recording. The second button is enhance. If I push it, it uses the Vocaster Hub software already installed on my computer to process the audio in real time. This is really handy for live streams that I wanna sound a little better. The last button is mute. This is the first time I've seen a mute button on an interface. I know, wild, right? This allows for a simple way to mute my input during a session, which can really come in handy. My overall impression? I think the Vocaster one is sleek, simple, and sexy. I can do a lot with it based on what I need to accomplish for my podcast, and I don't have to think of workarounds to make it happen. It's ready to use out of the box, and it just doesn't get much better than that. I love a piece of tech that makes life easier. Thanks for watching, and happy recording.